my eyes soon. of iron. There is fighting nearby. Dag, you old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Chodve tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today, he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davald's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship. You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I'll meet you by the ship. Show me what lies ahead. Shotless warriors crawl through Arval's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. I should be cautious around here. Longhouse. My crew should be inside. There 
should be an opening in the roof. You squirm like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of it, Buckrout. and stick an axe in my hand. I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine. You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Going to split you. I will sell you to hell herself. <laughs> Kneel, wolf kissed, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight. Die, you sack of shit. <laughs> Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh. Yes, of course. Norns be kind, Wolfkist. Thank you. Even if your wits were somewhat rattled, 
Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice.
Eivor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, wreck. What do you see? and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Take me in! Run up the stairs! Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut this man. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Dear Griefman. Are you feeling all right? now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. For three generations, I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright, wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone.
King Styrbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. He attacked Jotbis' fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skull who dares sing that verse. It'll be his last song. Drop the sail! Ravens returns, and not half dead. We thought we had lost you, Eivor, for good this time. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like reddened shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. We killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know.
Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Eivor! Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count! You need silver! And jewels! <laughs> Shut up, Rolf! How You never went on a raid! You... Hello, Eivor! Is the king free to speak with me? He is still with the emissary from the north. I would wait a while longer. Understood. I'll come back. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> The only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery! You told me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teachings, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no, the rhyme is good. But too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I will make a fine goblet from out of your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to... remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn, if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air.
That should do it. Anything else? How are you, Gunner? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunilda? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunner. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. Anything else? That is all for now. Return any time. <laughs> they must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. <laughs> Is there no one who will go around with me? Yeah. <laughs>
So Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Wake up, or you'll be cast into the wild. Must stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? Wake up! You're headed for the edge! Is he going to ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. <laughs> Ivan! Ivan! Calm down. You are asleep. No! I was flying through the air! In your sleep. A harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when in your bed. But now, report back before you're labeled a deserter. Go!
Hamuram. Hamuram. Volka? Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... Uh, I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I... I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce. And then a figure. A greybeard in a cloak. With a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the high one. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Have you used this sort of magic before? I have no fear. It was not my satyr that made her like this. Her condition inspired the elixir. Did it help her? For a time, it opened her up to visions. Strange, unreadable things. Then she returned to her current state. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey. Harvey! Oh, I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother! When did you arrive?
Brother! What is this? There was no other way, Javi. Our fates are fixed. Take it! It was not for you, Javi. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. God, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I... I was on a mountain, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threats of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you. ...and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention... ...as if it were... ...beckoning me to follow. You are the Wolfkist... ...fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition... ...or your fear. I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint... ...hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have 